Hello everyone, my name is Ryan and in this video I'll show you how you can change from one Ubuntu flavour to another without reinstalling the entire operating system. In other words, I'll show you how you can replace an installation of Ubuntu with Kubuntu, Lubuntu, Ubuntu Budgie, Ubuntu Caitlin, Ubuntu Mate and Zubuntu. Now this method will actually differ from installing a separate desktop environment as you are fundamentally replacing the distribution in the same way that if you clean installed it on bare metal would do. So for this particular video I'm going to use an installation of Ubuntu 2104 and convert it to Kubuntu 2104. Now although this method is safe I would still recommend making a backup using Timeshift so that you can restore if something does go wrong. You can install Timeshift using your distributions package manager with the following terminal command which is sudo apt install a timeshift. From here you can run through the wizard and create a snapshot of your particular system. Now since all the flavours will use the same Ubuntu 2104 repository, you can use your package manager to install the flavour. For example, to replace Ubuntu 2104 with Kubuntu 2104, you would use the following terminal command, which is sudo apt install kubuntu-desktop. Alternatively, for Lubuntu, it would be sudo apt install lubuntu-desktop. For Ubuntu Kaling, it is sudo apt install ubuntu Kaling desktop For Ubuntu Budgie, it's sudo apt install ubuntu-budgie-desktop. For Ubuntu Mate, it is sudo apt install ubuntu-mate-desktop. And then finally for Zubuntu, it is sudo apt install zubuntu-desktop. Now depending on the flavour you're installing, you may get a prompt to replace the display manager. For example, Ubuntu uses GDM or GNOME Desktop Manager, and Kubuntu uses SDDM or Simple Desktop Manager. My recommendation is to use the recommended one for your desktop environments. For example, since Kubuntu uses KDE Plasma, you want to be choosing SDDM. Once the installation process is complete, reboot your system and sign into your user account. So at this point the process is complete, but you might find that some applications are left over. For example, on my Ubuntu installation, I still had the Nautilus file manager and some Ubuntu specific update software still installed. However, I did remove it with the following terminal command. sudo apt remove ubuntu-desktop, ubuntu-software, software-properties-gtk, Nautilus Updance Manager and GNOME System Monitor. Obviously, adjust the syntax to reflect the software that's still installed on your system. Since all Ubuntu flavours ultimately do use the same central Ubuntu repositories, it means that you as the end user can switch between flavours at will, all without reinstalling your entire system. Either way, with that it does bring this video to an end. As always, thank you very much for watching and if you found this video helpful, please do consider leaving a like. Check out the rest of the content on my channel and subscribe if you like what you see. Thanks again and I'll see you soon. Goodbye.